Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your Broken Heart Tarot reading. I want to start by saying thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, it's very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel. If you find the messages helpful or if it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. And I upload messages daily. So if that's something that you're interested in, the information, the information is in the description. Um, subscribe to the channel. So let's get started here, Sag. Um, what we are going to take a look at is your part, your partner's part what you can do, what they can do, other influences, can it be saved and is it worth it? Really quickly before we started, of these messages are general, they're not going to resonate every time with every person. You can more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart as well as other spreads. So here we go, Sag. Your part, your partner's part. I really get the sense, Sag, that there's this um, need for you to accept inner conflicts, inner flaws, um, outdated belief systems. The strength card really symbolizes um, going through the self discovery process, you know, really accepting the shadow side. You know, these perceived flaws that you thought maybe were negative aspects or attributes, but not everybody perceives them that way. And really going in and kind of accepting those things about yourself. And on your partner's part, Sag, I'm getting the sense that they need balance. Um, with the temperance in reverse, there's they're very unbalanced in their lives. Um, I feel like they don't really have a sense of um, what exactly it is that they want out of relationships. And I feel like this is, this is something that they need to get clear on. What can you do and what can they do? Um, for you, Sag, I think you need to ease up a little bit. I think you need to <clears throat> go through your, your process, um, focus on your own healing process and um, healing yourself. Really focusing on that healing process and that self-discovery process for yourself is going to show this person what they need to do. Right, it's gonna, it's going leading by example. Now, for your partner, I feel like they really need to get clear. They need to get clear on what direction it is they want to take. They need to get clear on the path that they want to go for the future. I feel like they really need to get clear on um, what it is that they really want out of life. Okay, I feel like you really need to go through a healing, a rest, rejuvenating, healing process. They need to choose, you know, they need to get clear and they need to make a decision and stick with it. Okay, so let's see here what other influences we have. Can it be saved and is it worth it? Five of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like with the Five of Cups in reverse um, as other influences that there's some past trauma surrounding this um, and maybe why they're kind of reluctant to move forward, um, reluctant to commit to a relationship. And ultimately, I feel like they still need they still have a lot of processing that they need to go through. I feel like their guard is up, um, that they're very defensive about the situation, that there may even be um, some deceit 
behind their actions. They may be withholding information. I also get the sense that um, they're juggling. Okay, the Four of Pentacles tells me they're withholding information. The Two of Pentacles tells me that they're juggling. So this could be you and another person or you and their career, but there's a sense that they're spreading themselves too thin. Ultimately, Sagittarius, I feel like going within yourself, um, taking a step back, pausing um, from this, this relationship, and really focusing on your the work that you need to do, your inner flaws, inner conflicts, um, it's really going to bring in a clear path and possibly even bring in new opportunities for you. I get the sense that they are going to come back around, but I really feel like you're not gonna think their offer is worth it. You're really gonna be like, that's it? That's all? That's all you got for me, buddy? You went from a king to a page. You dirty, rotten scoundrel. Get crystal clear on your intention, Sag, and don't focus on a person. Try and focus on attributes. You know, what is it about this person that you liked? And what is it about this person that you didn't like? Um, what could you have done without, right? Really focusing on... Um, what will make Sagittarius happy? And getting, taking it one step further and getting clear on that why is going to be pertinent in the success of this movement forward. So let's get some psychic tarot out here. And normally would do the fairy tarot in this, at this portion, but that one's out, worn out. Can't, it's hard to shuffle with the, how bent it is. So we're just going to stick with the new cards. I'll go get a new deck here soon. Maybe be the fairy tarot, maybe something else. I'm going to use the psychic tarot. These are This is the deck I really use for my personal readings to kind of get down to the nitty gritty. So... I really feel like this was a karmic connection for you. I feel like um, there was definitely lessons that you needed to learn from this person. And ultimately, even though there was a lot of suffering within this connection, suffering and silence, I feel like all of that deception, all that... Um, withholding information it's brought in a balance it's helped you to see what you will accept and what you won't accept it's it's, it's brought that lesson in very clear for you Saj I really don't feel like it may it may take a minute okay for you to accept you may go through this acceptance process before you actually release, which is fine. Everyone has their own process, but I really feel like you are going to ultimately come to the conclusion that it will be best to let this connection go. Now, when that will be, it's going to determine, um, it's going to be determined by your healing process, Sag, ultimately. How long is it going to take you to learn the lesson and to heal? So let's get this Manifest Your Soulmate card out here, Sagittarius, and then get you on your little way. Sorry about that, it's my alarm. You want a person who comes into your life by accident, but stays on purpose.
really get the sense, Sag, that how this person carries themselves within relationship doesn't align with what you see, what you envision for yourself. Taking a step back, putting yourself in this other person's shoes and changing your perception on this situation is going to help you understand that better, okay? Ultimately, this lesson is bringing in balance into your life. So take time to review what's gone on so you make sure it doesn't repeat itself in the future. Okay? So that is the message that I have for you, Sag. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.